Thanks for joining me for another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a review of the 3W all-weather floor liners for the Tesla Model Y. These are available on Amazon, as well as through the 3W website, where you can use the promo code Brian Hauer at checkout to save yourself $10. I'll include the Amazon promo code as well, and I'll link to everything down in the description below, so just head there after the video. Now for full disclosure, this video is not sponsored, but 3W did reach out to me and ask me if they sent me the floor liners, if I'd give an honest review. So that's what we're gonna do here today. What's really interesting and kind of cool is 3W also sent me their main competitor's floor liners and asked me to compare the two. So I have a set of industry leading weather techs floor liners as well, and we'll be comparing the two. So before we get to showing you what the 3W and the weather tech set looks like, Let's take a look at what I'm currently using. I currently just use the rugged textile style mats that come standard with every Tesla purchase. These have been fine, but if you're like me and spend a ton of time outdoors camping, on dirt roads, etc., they can be quite a challenge to keep clean and of course aren't waterproof. Luckily for me, when I travel, most of my car is full with either the bed in the back or the fridge freezer up front, so the only part of the car that really gets dirty is the driver's side. As you can see, after only six months, I'm already seeing some deterioration of the carpet. So these two options we'll be looking at today are all weather, so I'm really looking forward to giving them a try. One of the things I worry about is how slick these will feel, but I'm sure they'll be a lot better in snowy or wet conditions, as I can just rinse them off or dump them outside instead of having to vacuum when cleaning them. All right, so let's go over the two different floor liners. Before we get into the differences between the two floor liners, let's look at a couple of the similarities. Both say they have full coverage with a perfect fit using computer design laser measurements. Both are made of waterproof material, thermoplastic elastomer, otherwise known as TPE, which should make them both easy to clean. Both say their products are odorless and non-toxic, and installing either should help the resale value of the car as they'll keep the floor and the original mats in better shape, plus obviously you can include them in the sale. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the differences between the two. The price of the 3W set is $240 for the front row, back row, and rear cargo area, minus the $10 using the promo code in the description below, of course, versus $310 for the same set from WeatherTech. Now, 3W did tell me that they say they have better coverage. They also say they have like nails or little grips on the bottom to keep the floor mats from moving. They say theirs aren't as slippery and are softer compared to WeatherTech's. And this is super important to me. I had a cheap set of floor mats once from Walmart in a different car that was so slippery that even if your feet weren't wet, it was almost impossible to get any grip on the floor. So this aspect is gonna be really important to me to test out. 3W says their logos don't fall off and their design is the same thickness throughout all of the pieces. On the other end, WeatherTech does also sell a liner for the frunk as well as the rear cargo wells. And I believe there's also an option for the seven seat Model Y. These aren't currently available from 3W. So I did receive these while I was still in Las Vegas and did take some quick video of what the packaging looked like when they were shipped to me. I will say that both were packed well and I didn't have any issues with shipping. All right, so let's go outside and put these to the test. All right, so these are the two sets. We have the 3W set over here, which has the front seats, back seats, and cargo. And then we just have the front seat and back seat for the weather tech. So let's take a look at them. There we go, there's the 3W liner. All right, so there's the other side. Right over. And then here is the back seat. So it definitely does have a softer feel to it. Um, I mean, it's definitely rigid still, but it's not like hard plastic. So it feels like it should have a little bit of grip. So that's good. All right, and here is the rear liner. Again, it all feels like the same thickness, which is what they told me. Um, and it definitely, again, has a little bit of a softer feel to it. It does also come with an installation guide. So it just kind of talks about making sure the floor is clean and how to get a proper fit. All right, so let's now take a look at the WeatherTech set. All right, so this is the rear liner. And the passenger side for the WeatherTech. And the driver's side for the WeatherTech. I will say 
they were correct when 3W said like, these are definitely harder. It's more like just like a hard plastic. It doesn't feel like it has grip to it. And you know, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it definitely has like some ridges in here, but it's definitely just a hard plastic. So you do that. let me grab the one from 3W. All right. You can tell it's more, it's more of like a softer, almost like a rubber. It's still hard. And so, you know, you can tell it's, it's definitely durable, but it just has more of like a, you know, you kind of hear that. Let's look at the bottom. Again, this has these little grips on the bottom, these little studs and completely smooth on the WeatherTech. So, you know, based on the first look and feel, I do think that 3W looks a little nicer and definitely feels a little nicer. All right, so let's put them in and see how they perform. All right, so this is the current setup. It's just the uh, typical rug mats that come with the Tesla. You know, so they work great. Um, you can kind of tell it's still getting a little worn down and stuff just from the last six months. That's not too bad though. All right, so here's the back seat. I barely use the back seat because usually I have camping stuff back here. So you're not gonna see a lot of wear and tear back here. So the, yeah, these are still in really good shape right now. You know, I could see how if you had friends or things like that and you're camping and tons of dirt, having an all weather mat is definitely gonna make a big difference. All right, so let's put the uh, 3W driver side in first and see how it works. You can see it goes in nice and fits perfect along the edges. I'll show you a little closer in a second. So yeah, the fit is super nice, but you can see around there, it fits perfect. And again, it's got those little like studs on the bottom. You kind of see, there's a good shot. So you can see like it has a bunch of those little studs and they just grip right into the carpet. And you know, I can't see it moving at all because it pretty much goes right up to the edges. And then with those there, it's not gonna move. The weather techs just have a little bit of Velcro on the bottom, that's it. So I don't know, we'll have to check that out in a second. All right, so one thing you wanna make sure to do when you do install these is take this little extra plastic piece that's on the top here, and you just wanna make sure to tuck that under on the driver's side, and that'll give you a nice snug fit. All right, so now we're gonna try the weather tech. This one's a little more rigid, so it's a little harder to get in. All right, so not quite as good of a fit, but not bad. All right, so the fit, you can kind of see some gaps right here. It's not quite as good, and you can kind of even see there too. My finger can go right in there. So I could see debris getting under there. And then up here, it only goes to here instead of like the 3W actually. I don't wanna seem like a hype beast, but <laughs> the uh, 3W went all the way almost to the top and this one doesn't. Um, I mean, I don't think either of them are really gonna move much because they're in pretty tight. I will say that this one isn't quite as tight and it doesn't feel as quite as secure. You know, it's got some gaps and stuff, but again, definitely more of a hard plastic. It was a little tougher to get in too. All right, so the grip on the feet, on the WeatherTech, it's a little slippery. It'd be a little tough to keep a grip. All right, so with the three W's, completely grippy like all over. It's again, it's a little bit of a softer plastic, almost a little bit of a rubber feel, but still thick and sturdy. In this category, definitely goes to 3W. All right, so this is the WeatherTech on the passenger side. You know, I kind of thought that maybe 3W, when they reached out, you know, they're gonna obviously tell me just the best things about theirs. And, you know, WeatherTech is uh, considered the industry leader. And these are like, you know, 
300 some dollars. And they were actually true. Like, look, look at the sticker. It's just kind of barely on there. I wouldn't even want to pull that off. They didn't even put it on straight. Quality wise, like I said, super slick and just kind of a hard shell plastic. And you can see, like, look at the gaps. Like I have it in exactly how it's supposed to go in. <laughs> and I can tell you right now that this isn't from shipping or anything. This is not, this is exactly the shape that it's supposed to be in. Quite a few gaps there. Definitely not impressing me. All right, so this is the same for the passenger side, but now we're looking at the three W's. No gaps. Better coverage for sure. And look, it lays completely flat. You could tell on the weather text, there was like, you know, like a huge gap like this right here. This lays nice and soft right there. Again, more of a rubber, a hard rubber type material. Still has a little bit of give though. And it's got a grip too. You can see even kind of, it has like a little texture to it. So it has a grip on this side, as well as having the little spikes on this side that keep it in place. Same as on the uh, driver's side, on the passenger side, you have this little plastic piece here and you're just gonna wanna take that and just kind of slide it up underneath there. And again, that'll keep it nice and snug. All right, so now we're gonna do the back row. So let's take out the current carpet. All right, so let's do 3W first. All right, so the three W's again, pretty perfect on the cut. There is a little bit of a bow right here. Both the three W's and the weather techs were folded up. So that one, I will give both companies, you know, I'll give them a pass on that part. That'll probably lay flat after a little while. But other than that, you know, nice cut. I mean, I can definitely see how this will be nice when you have water, snow, things like that. A lot easier to clean out too. Just pull them out, rinse them off with a hose or, you know, wipe them down with a, with a rag and you're good to go. All right, so now let's put in the weather techs. You can tell, again, this one is not as thick as the front one. They were correct about that. It's just flimsy, pla like hard plastic. Like, All right, so this is the weather tech and the cut seems pretty good. There is a little bowing right here, but again, I'll give them all a pass on that one because it was folded up a little bit. Definitely not as many gaps on the back as there were on the front. Uh, I will say though, it just feels like, you know when you go to like Walmart and you just grab some like cheap toy or something and it's like really cheap plastic? Like that's what this feels like. There's definitely no grip to it on either side. I know I said that before, but it's really important. It's, I can tell these are gonna be slick. All right, now we have the uh, 3W here. And so we're gonna put in the rear cargo liner. And then once you push this all the way in, just wanna make sure that the back has the flap turned up, just like that. All right, so really nice cut here. No gaps at all, again, for the 3W. So that's good. Um, yeah, same, uh, same grippy texture, same studded backside for grip. Yeah, I mean, got the logo on here instead of a sticker, so that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> head to head, 3W is definitely winning. All right, so for the weather tech, I only had the front and the uh, back seat. Do not have one of these. You have to buy it separately, but the total still comes to around $310 versus 240 for the 3Ws. All right, so although I did not have a WeatherTech rear cargo liner, I did have another one that I had bought previously on Amazon, 
and I will link that one in the description below too, but I gotta be honest with you, like the 3W one's like way better. <laughs> I mean, and I think the price would probably end up being around the same. Uh, this is from uh, Tasmanian. So, you know, a lot of you guys have heard of that. So yeah, I mean, I got that on Amazon when I first put in my pre-order for, uh, for the Tesla Model Y. And again, you can kind of see, I mean, I thought the, the fit and everything on this one was fine, but it did kind of move around a little bit. It's just smooth, kind of like the weather techs on the back. There's nothing there to really keep it in place. Again, even versus the Tasmanian, I gotta go with the 3W. I'm not doing it just because they sent it to me. I, I honestly, I will always tell you the truth when I'm doing a review. They're not paying me or anything. So the 3W is by far superior over both. All right, so it is getting cold and dark outside. So let's head back inside and wrap this video up. All right, so I just got back inside and man, is it cold out. <laughs> but I wanted to go over what my thoughts were on the differences between the 3W and the WeatherTech floor liners. Well, I gotta say, that was like super surprising. Now I get quite a few companies that contact me weekly and ask me to look at different products, uh, see if they can send me things. And I've had to turn some down because it just didn't make sense. They weren't products that I would use and I didn't feel like it made any sense to you know, make a video about them. But when companies do contact me and they have a product that I'd probably end up using myself, you know, I always say, feel free to send it to me. I always tell them, you will have no say in the editorial process. And you know, if you send them to me, I'm just gonna give an honest review. I don't take money for editorial reviews. So everything I say is exactly as I actually believe it. So you can know that how I review it is exactly how I really feel about the product. So a few weeks back when 3W reached out to me and asked me to review their floor liners. So I thought, I, you know, I have no idea who this company is. So I said, sure, go ahead and send them to me. And then they emailed me back and said, would you actually compare them to the industry leader, WeatherTechs? And they'll send me those as well. And I said, sure, go ahead, send them to me. I'll give you my honest opinion about how I actually feel about them. And so they went ahead and sent me both sets. They seem to be pretty confident in their products. So, you know, I said, sure, I'll, I'll give them both a look and I'll tell you and my audience my honest opinion. And so after looking at them both, I gotta be honest with you. It's not even close. And it's probably not the way that most people would think. Uh, three W's were miles better than WeatherTechs. I gotta say, WeatherTechs felt like just cheap, hard plastic. There was no texture to them. There was no grip on the bottom. There was no etched in logo or, or any type of design. The fit was definitely not as good. There were plenty of gaps on the side. And so, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I had no idea what this company would send me. And I thought, you know, who are they to probably try to compete with WeatherTech? And WeatherTechs are like, you know, 300 plus dollars. You know, how good are they probably gonna be? Well, they were substantially better than WeatherTech. You know, I'm not just trying to hype them up or anything because they sent them to me. I'm honestly telling you, if you held them in your hands, WeatherTech feels like cheap plastic. 3Ws feels like it's softer. It has a little bit of grip. On the bottom, it also has like the little studs that stick out that grip the floor. There were no gaps on the sides. There was just a way better fit, way better feel. And to be honest with you, I think a way better look. Now in the past with other cars, I always kind of steered away from WeatherTech just because of the price. And so I was like, these things have to be like incredible to be 300 plus dollars. They're not. I think floor liners being hundreds of dollars in general is too much, but if I was gonna pay for floor liners, I would much rather pay 240 for the three Ws than 310 for the WeatherTechs. It, it, it's not even close. Now I will say, I have not compared these to like Husky liners or to the official Tesla all weather floor mats, but I can say, Compared to WeatherTech, which again is supposed to be the industry leader, and compared to the Tasmanian rear cargo liner that I already had, it's not even close. The three W's just destroy them. So if you're looking for a high quality floor liner for your Tesla Model Y, I would highly recommend the 3W floor liners without a question. So that pretty much wraps up this review. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, please like this video if you wanna see more like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.